Hey everyone. So this video is all about how to do a proper bibliography using the APA method. So um, this is the way you, you do a bibliography when you get to university and it's the way that everyone does a bibliography when they're writing any kind of official paper um, and any kind of scientific journal uses these two. So this template gives you an idea of what a references section or a bibliography should look like. You can see it's got references as the heading. It uses all the proper punctuation for the APA method when you have your reference. And it has the references in alphabetical order. You can see here, um, the first thing you write is the author's name. So it's in alphabetical order of the authors. The first author here is Crawford, and then it's Fleischmann, and then Henningsen, and so on. Also, each um, reference uses this hanging indent, so it's really easy to tell where one reference starts and where it ends. Um, so you can see the first website, or the first journal that they used, was this one here by Crawford, and then here's the next one. Okay. So here is a really good resource for learning the punctuation for how to write your references. It's actually pretty simple to learn um, once you get your head around that you need to be really specific with all the punctuation. So this website is for APA. Um, there is actually, if you go back to recite, it does have all the other common methods too, like Harvard, um, and Chicago as well, which are some other common referencing methods. Okay, so we'll stick with APA 7. Uh, that just means it's the seventh version and seventh is the most current one. So here's all the different types of um, sources that you can reference. Um, you can use maps, you can use architectural drawings, reports, um, journal articles, although most of us at school will be using web pages um, to when we're doing all our research, so I'll talk about web pages. There's two different options. The first one is if you can see who actually wrote the web page. So does it have an individual author or does it not? So in that case it would be written by just a group, whoever published the page. Um, so let's go into the group name one because this is the most common. And this here is exactly how you set up your reference and you write it in a bibliography. So you do the group name and then a full stop. So here's an example. They've got BBC News and a full stop. Then you do the date. It's the date that it was written. But if you can't find that date, then you do when you found it on the website. So you have the year with the comma, and then you have the month and the day. Then you close your brackets and do a full stop. So they're tiny details, but they're important punctuation when you're doing this proper method. Then you do the title of the web page, whatever the heading was, and you do that in italics. So their example is UK terror threat reduced to substantial, all in italics, and then a full stop. And then you copy and paste the URL from the top of the page and put it at the end as well. And once you've done the hanging indent, that's what it should look like. Okay, so we're gonna do some examples so you can see how to make a bibliography. Okay, so opening up a new Word document. Um, the best um, sorry, just changing the font. The best font to use is Times New Roman. That's the proper font to use with APA. So if this was your references section, we're doing references as the heading, and then we're going down. Now, what's our first resource that we used? Um, so we're going to pretend we're doing a project on frogs. So I've found this article on frogs 
in the World Book Online. And World Book is great because it already does the referencing for you. And so does Britannica School. So remember, we can get to these websites from um, GoPSC and from the library. So you need to go to the library website on GoPSC. And you can, once you've logged in, you can get into these two encyclopedias. And we know that they're trusted information and they do the reference for you. So in this word book article about frogs, we've got all our information. And then right down at the bottom of word book, it says how to cite this article. And here we go. If we go to APA, they've done all the punctuation for us and we just need to copy that and put it into our references. There we go. Then let's do the same with our Britannica. So I'll get the frogs article from here. So if we use this website for our frogs project, in Britannica you go up to here where it says site and you select the style. You've got APA, Harvard, and some other ones. We'll do APA. And here is the punctuation done for us again. Easy. So I'll copy that, paste it into our um, bibliography. Okay. If you're not using these encyclopedias though, you'll have to do it by hand. So here's another website about frogs that I found. And it's by the Burke Museum. And this is, if you look up at the URL, it's a .org website, so it's pretty good. But since it's by a museum, we know it's going to be a trusted source. So I'm happy to include this in my project. It's all about frogs. And we need to cite it. So going back to our um, example here, we need to write the group name and then a full stop. So we look up here and we can see the Burke Museum is the group that wrote this website. So if we go to our references, we're going to write Burke Museum, full stop. Then we need to write the date where we retrieved it. Um, and that's because I couldn't find the actual date on the website of when it was published. So we're going to use today's date instead. Oh, actually, here we go. It's copyright 2020. So we can just write 2020 as the year. Full stop again. Then we need the title of the page in italics and then a full stop. So the title's called All About Frogs. And I'll just put that here in italics. Okay, and the last thing is to copy the URL. So we'll go back to the page, copy, and paste, and there it is. So actually you can see these two old, these two from the encyclopedia, they had retrieved from. That's actually old version of APA. We just have the website now. So I'll delete the retrieve from. All right. So we've done some copying and pasting. So I'll just put it all into Times New Roman and all the same size. And I'll put some gaps in. Okay. So let's check we've done everything. We've got our heading. We've got our punctuation. Have we put it in alphabetical order? Um, we've got Mendelssohn. No, so Burke Museum needs to be at the top. Then Frog needs to be next. Then Mendelssohn. And then that's it. Okay. Um, we've done alphabetical order. We haven't done hanging indent yet. So it's, this is just a punctuation thing. What you do is you highlight it, click paragraph, 
then you go to indentation and in the special you do hanging indent okay there we go so that is our references section done for our frogs project following the proper APA standard there you go